Hey guys, welcome to Anime Table. I'm Lance. I'm David. And I'm Josh. Today, well, to start off, this basically this video series of, of us is going to be us reviewing anime. Um, we'll take, you know, suggestions of stuff as, as well, and feel free in the comments to tell us how you feel about whatever anime we are reviewing. And today we're actually reviewing Attack on Titan, SNK, or... Shingeki no Kyojin. <laughs> I always call it SNK. I always forget the actual full title. So I just me. call it Attack on Titan. <laughs> so, um, let's just first talk about the actual premise, and Josh, go ahead and start with that. So, it's like a, basically like an alternate Earth or something where it's medieval times, from what it seems like. They have a little bit more advanced technology, but it's more or less medieval culture. Um, By advanced technology, it's like they have steam-powered type of, of weapons, and, and yeah. they actually have guns too, but they use a lot of steam power stuff. Mm -hmm. So... The uh, world is basically overrun by these giant titans that appeared a hundred years ago. They're just basically big naked humans that run around eating people. And uh, you will get to see lots of that in the series, so brace yourself. Try not to get too attached to people because you will get eaten. Game of Thrones of anime right now. Game <laughs> of really Thrones is. of anime. Um, but yeah, that's basically the premise. Uh, humanity is basically holed up into one uh, big city and... Uh, Trying to get by until the Titans come again, and the whole the whole start is the I mean the whole start is pretty much the Titans are here, and that's the start of the anime. Yeah, and they uh, they breach the very outer wall because the city is built up of three three, sectors, wall, three yeah. sections, mm -hmm. uh, an inner wall, a middle wall, and then an outer wall. So and the rich, I, the middle class, and the very poor. I forget what the I forget what the what the walls are. I know one of them is Maria. I want to say that's the outer wall. Yeah, Maria. Wall, wall Maria is the outer wall, but but uh, the. Pretty much episode one starts, uh, normal day, uh, giant titan appears, breaches the out, very outer wall, and literally hell breaks loose. Like, and it is, like, everyone starts dying almost immediately. And it, and it and basically starts off, the, the character, the main character of the story is Aaron Yeager, and he's pretty much, um, he sees a lot of stuff happen, don't want to spoil anything, but he sees a lot of stuff happen. Some pretty crazy stuff. And it makes him want to fight the titans. And when he literally wants to destroy them, he will. He becomes a straight up aggressive mofo. <laughs> of course, he's always followed by his adoptive older sister Mikasa, who's pretty much the only badass between them. But you, you'll see when once you watch it. But, All um, the uh, main characters of the show, in fact, are inspired to fight Titans based on the events. And I want to say the first episode. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what happens in the first episode, which is pretty cataclysmic to the characters and the character building, actually gears the story towards everyone wanting to fight the Titans. I mean, there's different reasons why they actually want to fight the Titans, because based on where you're stationed at, you got the, the military police, then you got the garrison crew, and then you have the scouts. the scouts, the survey corps, which is the ones who actually go out and fight Titans and actually survey the land and all that. They're the SEALs, or the Rangers, the Spec Ops. The more like cannon fodder. <laughs> it's true. It really is true. They're cannon fodder in that show. But um, like Josh says, don't get attached. Um, right in the first episode, you pretty much see that like this is not a not a show where they're gonna hold back on the gore or the death or the killing. And it's so. very horror esque too. <laughs> this anime is super horror esque, mainly because the Titans they don't need to eat. They don't need to really sleep. I mean, it's it's showing some stuff. You'll you'll see it, but. Their whole goal is to wipe out humanity, and that's what makes it terrifying because they don't need to eat. They have, and they're, they're naked, but there's no genitals. So, and they always have these goofy faces. God, but, those faces. <laughs> but they can make it. it the way some of them run too. Is when I when ridiculous. I first started watching it, like until I saw this stuff going down, I was like, "What is what is this? Like these faces are ridiculous looking." And then I saw them chomping on people. I'm like, "Ooh, now I get it. Like it's totally it's a really grotesque experience to see these crazy, weird, happy faces just." Munching on people. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> nom, noms. But it's certainly very horror-esque. It's certainly very good. Uh, I really do compare it basically to the Game of Thrones of anime at this point in time. Just because the stories get super involved, super political. It can be really slow at times, though. That's my only kind of nitpick with it. It can be kind of slow, but the action well more, well than more makes up for it. It's, um, it's a lot like Game of Thrones in that respect. Like Game of Thrones, I don't know if you've noticed this, but every season the first few episodes are pretty slow. And yeah. then the next few episodes are like... What? And, and then it's like a couple to stand the season yeah. out. Yeah. And it's kind of what uh, this show is like too. They kind of build up to a major event and then it happens and it's like, what? And then, you know, you move on. But um, as far as the story goes, yeah, it's a great story. 
Uh, moving on, the animation. I love the animation. Very uh, good art style. The, yeah. the art on the Titans themselves are... Like, Titans go range from horrifying to comic relief like <laughs> that. <laughs> and it does sometimes jar you out of the experience, though. Yeah. But one of them, I'm not going to say which one, one of them, the, the uh, manga, actually said that he based one of them off of Brock Lesnar. And he's just a super buff Titan. He's one of the super special Titans that you'll see about. He, uh, the you definitely see some of the the inspiration that the manga used in the actual developing of the, each of the titans. And as far as the gore and a lot of the action scenes go, it's very fluid and very well done. I mm -hmm. mean, just from them like swinging around the between buildings and uh, later yeah, on in trees and whatnot. Gear, it's, yeah, it's yeah, they use something called cool maneuver gear. So maneuver gear basically shoots out like spikes with ropes, and it basically lets them move really fast in between buildings. But, you know, that's their only advantage against the Titans. Like the Batclaw. <laughs> but not as versatile, really, in my opinion, because he's, he, Batclaw is more, more there for you. What about the music? What do you, what do you guys think about the music? I love about? the music. Like, especially that opening theme is just so epic, and it, like, gets you kind of in that mindset. It, 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 it makes you, you feel like you're one of the soldiers. Like, the way the, yeah. the music is, it's got that, like, chorus-y, like, male chorus feel to it. And it kind of, like, it puts you in the mindset of, like, like Aaron is your brother and your comrade, and that's why... I like Another cool thing about the show is that the segue, like in between, um, like when they, I guess, would enter the, the commercial yeah, break. Yeah, like the commercial cards. Yeah, it's great. Like he's, he's they actually put in information. If, yeah, information like as if you were a soldier in the training. Yeah. It's really cool. It's like information about like maneuver gear, how to attack titans, uh, battle tactics. It's really cool stuff. Sometimes um, history lessons. <laughs> yeah, it's really cool. So I mean, the show overall is very very well done if you haven't seen it or you haven't read it if you're not if you aren't involved with it right now you definitely should be you owe it to yourself really to get in on the uh, attack on titan van Wagen honestly right what the hell have you been doing if you haven't? <laughs> it's definitely up there but i do i do just want a quick touch anything you actually kind of dislike or you have nitpicks on hmm uh i, I do dislike Armin a little bit because he reminds me too much of Shinji from Evangelion and the <laughs> oh, I'm afraid I can't do it I can't do it like yeah. you signed up for the military dude you knew what you were getting into like, you, you saw the it. initial attack you knew what you were getting <laughs> yeah. into uh, Armin's pretty much Aaron's best friend male friend uh, at least. I mean like they they do alleviate that some towards the end of the series he does start to grow a little bit more he's very very intelligent he's on. super smart too yeah he's he's a very good strategist I don't uh one thing I didn't like about it was. I would say, yeah, Armin, but I didn't like how Potato Girl, I can't think of her name, I can't think of her name right now, but they actually refer to her in the, show, in the show as Potato Girl, uh, how her mental stability just <clears throat> broke, like... Now, not to, not, not to get off of too much of a tangent, the manga does a really good job explaining yeah, and what, what really went down That's with her. what I didn't like about the, the anime, it actually, I would like not to, yet. I would like to see more on why and not what yeah well because we're seeing at, at the point we are in the where the anime is and even where the manga is right now we have a lot of what's going on not necessarily how all this happened so i would oh, yeah. I'm, i mean but it's still going on so i mean we could that's coming but i would like to see a lot more how i definitely have that nick that nitpick about it another thing is Unlike most people, I don't really like the character of Aaron. I'm really, really... He gets me so frustrated sometimes. Because he could be that standard anime trope of hard, strong, hard, strong, hard, strong. I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this. But to me, through the actual series, he doesn't really character growth a lot. I mean, people might disagree with me. I don't know if you disagree with me. But to me, mm -hmm. his, his character doesn't expand enough for a whole season in my, in my liking. I don't... Yeah, I, I, I think his growth is a little bit slow. I mean, it's definitely there. He does grow, like, especially, like, in the forest. I just... Scene, he gets me so like annoying But, still, I mean, though. compared to everyone around him. Yeah. Like, yeah he like, doesn't grow as much as the people around him. On the him. plus side, his, his, uh, his sister... Mikasa totally makes up for him, in my opinion. And then, you know, you got Levi, he's another awesome character. There's definitely a lot. But like we said, don't fall in love with characters, because you don't know what's going to happen to them. <laughs> so what would you, uh, what would you if, I guess, rate this show? If... I don't like to do rating numbers. Okay, yeah, like, I don't like to do rating numbers, I don't, because to me, it's like, oh, why did you give it a 7? It should be an 8. Why did you give it a 4? It should be a 5. Yeah, and then a year from now, you watch something else and give it a higher score. Why did you rate this higher? Yeah, it's, it's no, it's too subjective. Exactly. So all we're going to say is, like, I'm going to say, like, go watch this anime. 
Uh, it's streaming on Crunchyroll, it's streaming on Funimation.com, and it's actually just started on Toonami a few weeks ago. So it's also on Netflix networks. for the subbed, at least, if you just want to do subbed. Yeah. So if you and, have a Netflix um, account, go watch it. <laughs> so definitely, it was licensed by Funimation, so I doubt the dub is going to be bad. Uh, they've generally done pretty well before. Um, I don't know, I, I, I don't really trust the dubs. I usually, watch the, <laughs> anyway, <yeah. laughs> I usually watch the Raw if I can. <laughs> well, I, I've never had a, but I agree they've never had a problem with the Funimation dub. You can get a lot of hate mail, I think. <laughs> but um, so that pretty much covers Attack on Titan. We're just going to do a couple quick hits here. Um, Josh started for us here an actual anime blog that all three of us will be writing on, and maybe Brian and Matt will be coming on at some point with that. Mm -hmm. we talk a little bit about that. Yeah, it's going to be uh, www.strictlynerd.com. Uh, it is not going to just be about anime anymore. We decided to expand it and do games and other stuff on yeah. there too. But yeah, I've already gotten several anime articles up. Uh, yeah, you basically, going to be your posting just a uh, little written reviews on some of the series that I've watched recently. Uh, we're going to go through some of the old ones. I know he's planning to do No Game, No Life. I love that show so far. I've been so. wanting to do... Uh, oh, what was that one show I just watched? <laughs> I, I don't remember. Tokyo <laughs> Ghouls looks really cool. I know yeah, we're going to do that one. It's a new trailer that, that just came out. Once, so uh, definitely... once that show starts up, um, <clears throat> we're going to start watching that. We'll do a couple reviews on that. If you guys have any recommendations of anything you would like us to watch or... Even if you just want to talk to us about, you know, just anime in general, uh, I guess drop us a line at the website and we'll try and we'll try our hardest to get back to you. There um, is one thing I'm planning to do uh, now that the summer uh, season is about to start yep. for anime. I plan to basically follow at least one show from episode one to twenty six and post weekly after each episode, and that way we can all discuss together what happened in the episode. A weekly wrap like up style. Yeah. I like that. That's a good yeah, idea. Exactly, and. Uh, so if you have uh, an anime coming up that you want to see that happen to, just uh, you know, comment in the video. Let us know. We'll uh, you know take a look at it and see if it's one of those. And there's there's watch. other stuff I want to cover. I want to start doing um, movies. Will be good too. Movies, of course, but I want to start doing more more talks, just full of spoilers and well put disclaimers on it. But discussing a series like how we think Evangelion is, and mm. discussing the actual. I could talk about Evangelion for days. Exactly. CL, we can sit there and explain. FLCL to everyone. Okay, if, if, you want, if you want to explain, I can explain FLCL. <laughs> I can explain FLCL, but I can do it better if I'm on something. We'll just leave it at that. But um, so that's pretty much how we want to take this ride. I mean, we want to do a lot. We want to. We want to make. Show. My favorite anime. We want to make sure that you have a good experience with this. So, like, like we said, um, leave us comments. What you think we should review? What we should actually do? Like a spoiler. I don't want to call it spoiler cast because other people use that. But basically, what we sh should we discuss about like an actual anime, like Evangelion, Gundam, stuff like that. Um, another thing is, uh, our next video is actually we're going to be reviewing. What is it, David? <laughs> uh, <laughs> you had so much trouble with this. Durarara. <laughs> yeah, that was close. Yeah, <laughs> that was close enough. I'm sure po most people will figure that out. But we'll, yeah. we'll be. I have a hard time pronouncing that. I'm sorry. And this is one of mine and Lance's favorite animes. Top ten. I top, just say started top reading 10. it uh, a couple nights ago, and I'm going to start watching the anime, so the next one of these videos that we do will probably more than likely be over that. And that's, um, this so, is like why we're actually doing this. Me and Josh love the shit out of this anime. David's never seen it, so that's why we're... We know I love anime old. in general, though. We know it's old, so we're just we, we want to get David's reaction mainly and let y'all see it. <laughs> like, I, I thoroughly enjoy anime, and I've been in it for a while, but I just, it's been being recommended to me, and I've been like putting it off for a while, and I just started, like, I had not, I was in between chapters of other things that I'm reading right now, and I decided to give it a shot, and it blew my mind, chapter three, so. All right, well, I think that's going to pretty much wrap it up. Um, thank you for uh, watching and listening, so definitely comment down there somewhere, maybe over there by Josh's face, and update yeah. his face, or, or next to the, the Titan here. <laughs> just drop us a line anytime. Yeah. And once again, uh, this is Anime Table. I'm Lance. I'm David. I'm Josh. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter at Strictly Nerd and like uh, Facebook.com slash Strictly Nerd. And don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. We will see you guys next time. Ja!